Greetings my loyal minions and welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns please feel free to leave a comment under any of my videos or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. If you want to donate to my channel I do have a cash app, PayPal, and Venmo. Links are in the description below. You also have the choice of super chatting me whenever I'm live or you can leave a super thanks under any of my videos or live streams. Just keep in mind you are under no obligation to donate to my channel, but any bit would be most appreciated. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to. So, grab onto your neck braces and make sure they are firmly in place, grab a stiff drink, some popcorn, take a seat and hang onto your butts because we are going to be in for some more major whiplash. Hey, what up you guys? Sassy Assassin here, back with another video. Hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful weekend so far. And in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Chantel's latest video, I Can't Believe My Husband Did This. So without further ado, let's get to... Well, hello guys. How are you doing? Oh my god. The low BMI voice, you guys. I can't. I'm doing well. So as you can see, I'm back here in Kuwait the uh, infamous curtains there so um yeah i'm back in kuwait and i thought i would talk a bit i didn't film any of my journey home really i don't think so i'm i was so tired and out of it that i don't even remember what i filmed but i'm finally here and when i tell you that this journey is probably the worst one it was just <sighs> every single thing that I had fear about with traveling as a fat person happened to me and um, I, I swear a lot was testing me and you know what I got through it so I learned the lesson here that even if something is like really hard you can still get through it basic but so good to have and valuable in life because we're gonna face problems I mean trying to avoid them is probably more of a waste of time than learning how to deal with them and because of what I went through on this trip I've learned that you know I can get through these things no problem they're not fun too, but they're not meant to be. So I'll show you my big surprise after. Um, so stay tuned, watch the whole video till the end because somewhere in the video I'm gonna put, you wait till you see like, I don't know if they're called renovations, but everything done to the place, okay? So it's like new here. All right, so um, basically what happened was- The low BMI voice, the pi acting like Pyrus Miriam. Wow is you know how I booked like kind of in haste just like last minute because I'm impulsive like that I was like no I can't sit here anymore and just be depressed and like I have to come home and, and just be at my place and everything like that and deal with you know what we're dealing with together and everything everything like that so I said you came home Chantel to save your fake marriage because you know, as well as everybody else knows, that Salad is looking for somebody else. It's pretty apparent based on the, the recent tea that was dropped literally today. Well, late, late yesterday. He's looking for somebody else. And he had the gall, let's just say, to start try to start something with Kybella. Based on the questions and, you know, basically the whole tone of the conversation. Asking how much money she makes, how much her parents make, you know, the job and everything, whether she wanted kids or not. Yeah. That indicates to me that Salad does not intend to stay with you. So, you you know this. Okay, he's probably told you this already in private. May have, may have actually showed you the, all the conversations in detail. I don't know. And so you're just like, or maybe you just realize this. And so you're like, I got to book at home. I got to save this fake marriage. You know, you know, I don't want to lose this man because you're, you know, as well as everybody else knows that you don't have a line of suitors waiting, you know, lining up to want to be with you. So you think in your mind, this is it. This is the best I'm going to get a lying and cheating degenerate scumbag. You really picked one, Chantel. You picked a good one, didn't you? 
I love this. You know, to Salah, my husband, I said, book me a flight ASAP, uh, you know, just ASAP, like in the next couple of days. So I left on the 3rd of January and the flight was full. Like it was it's after holidays. It was a full flight. I wasn't even able to to buy two seats if I even wanted to. <laughs> OK, so um, even the business class was booked because I was like, OK, so, you know, business class is not as expensive as first class. You know, I could maybe justify that it has a bigger seat. It's private. Next time, I think I will, <laughs> and then I can give like a review of it. So anyway, so um, they're like, sorry, ma'am, it's full. So I'm like, the whole time, I'm freaking out. I was so nervous of like, I'm going through scenarios like, okay, um, how bad am I gonna be encroaching on the person next to me? Um, is it gonna be a huge man? Because then, you know, if it's a very tiny person, that might be okay. Um, my eyeliner's leaking because it's not waterproof. So anyway, I had to take my car, park it. Then I had to take a taxi to the Ottawa train station. Then, then a bus, like a charter bus, to Montreal Airport, okay? The Pierre Elliott Trudeau Airport. And on the way, the cab driver was like telling me that, you know, everything is so bad in Canada right now with like food prices and poverty. And he said that he went to the grocery store and he went into the bathroom and there was like a chicken, half eaten chicken. And apparently the guy coming out said, I left you some. So people are actually, this is really sad. People are taking food, like rotisserie chickens into the bathroom and eating them and just not paying, you know, which is probably honestly less risky than walking out with the detectors. So anyway, um, yeah, that was interesting conversation. Um, so then I, you know, my, my flight was at 8.55. Um, you know, you always board earlier than take off. So um, I got on the plane and it was one of those, you know how you have like, there's like three rows of seats in the plane. Um, on the left and right, there's like rows of three. And then in the middle, there's a, a row of four seats. Well, luckily I had the aisle seat. So that I could spill out if I wanted to except when dinner service is coming but sitting beside me was this grumpy looking younger man like younger um, man from India and he was just like um, and I know he's from India because I heard him talking to the person beside him so anyway he was like younger he wasn't too big so that was good uh, so I was like freaking out everyone's looking at me I was like one of the last people to get on the plane and I asked for an extender so I had to kind of like you know be like excuse me as I take my my seat belt and plug it in and anyway finally when I sit down um, that was the moment like I'm like okay I'm gonna sit down this is it this is the moment I've been waiting for the moment I'm so scared for and boom it was okay <laughs> like I actually so the seats in the Qatar plane are actually a bit bigger than the Emirates because in the Emirates I remember like I had trouble with the handle going down unless I lost a bit of weight I don't know I don't think so but anyway the the bars came down it was like a bit snug but like with the seatbelt extender I was fine we actually weren't even really touching which really surprised me so I thought oh my gosh okay <laughs> and I think I like this is like a test I'm glad I went through because it showed me that you know it's one of my biggest fears and I was fine okay so I was okay this time I was happy um, the dinner service table doesn't come out all the way so it comes out it came out halfway for me like it folds once and then twice out so i could fold it unfold it once and i probably could have gotten away with a tray of food being on it but i didn't want to like i don't know i had a fear about that and i didn't want to use the washroom so i literally i'm not buying some of this that guy must have been so uncomfortable having to sit next to this woman it's the Chantel. like seriously you may have been fine but imagine how he felt cramped in there next to this woman probably hadn't bathed or showered in a while mm -mm -mm. that must have been hell on earth we did not eat i had drinks a lot of drinks I didn't eat. I didn't go to the bathroom for 12 hours straight. I just bullshit of, like, consciousness, not sleep because I don't really sleep if I don't have my CPAP. Like I don't, I just keep getting woken up <laughs> by my breathing. So anyway, the flight actually went by really quickly. I don't know and by some miracle. I swear I was just like, it went by really quickly. And um, I watched the movie Psycho, like the original with, <laughs> with Anthony Perkins. The guy beside me was just kind of like, looking at my movie like what the heck is you know <laughs> so uh yeah he looked um he looked a bit like 
he'd been through some things in life, like a bit rough on the, you know, on the edges. So I thought, okay, good. He's been through some things. So he'll, he'll get through sitting next to a fat person on a plane. <laughs> so, um, that was that. And then I was just, I was so tired because I didn't sleep. Why are you making all these assumptions about this stranger? Like, seriously, this backstory, you don't know this person. You don't know how this person was feeling. The only assumption I'm going to make is he was probably super uncomfortable sitting next to you because not only, you know, probably cramming him in and he probably can't, doesn't want to go to the bathroom because, you know, that would be a lot of, you know, work, you know, to try to get past you. <laughs> also, he probably smelled because you, you don't, your hygiene is poor. So for sure, if I have to fly like super long flight like that again, I'm going to get business. Like if, if there's any available because on Qatar, they sell out quick because they're so like they're one of the best business classes and you can plug your CPAP in there so I can sleep <laughs> and you know, it's private. You don't have to worry about anything. So anyway, um, so I why didn't you just go for first class? Hmm. Can't afford that. After the 12 hours, by the time I got to Doha, I was... Since, since you're making so much money, according to you, why didn't you just go for first class? I was so tired. I just saw the... What'd you say? And, you know, it's private. You don't have to worry about anything. So anyway, um... She claims to be making a good amount of money. I don't... I, I just generally don't understand why she didn't try to go to first class. That would have been perfect for her. I mean, obviously been able to plug in her CPAP. She would have had plenty of room. So after the 12 hours, by the time I got to Doha, I was so tired. I just saw the first trolley driver guy and I'm like, I need to get to my gates. I only had like a two hour um, and some odd minutes transfer time and it went by really quick. We boarded a bit early. So uh, yeah, that again, I, I didn't even care at this point. I was like, whatever seat I'm assigned, whatever, because I'd gone through 12 hours of it, I can get through an hour, right? So I was sitting beside a very small woman and I had so much room. So Qatar, definitely, I, I heard one plus size influencer say they like Emirates for the best international flight for plus size people. I say Qatar is for sure. Sorry, there's a fly somewhere. I got him when we were washing the windows, like from the outside. If you don't wash your windows here, like um, this, the sand dust will make them very dirty quickly. And Salah has really long arms, so he helps me with that. I mean, he does what it himself. Doing? Yeah, catch the fly. Make yourself useful. <laughs> Baby girl. I love Persian cats because from the side like that, their side profile, it looks like they have no face. It's just smush. Smushy smush. Now you're calling her BB. She's trying to call her BBJ, isn't she? Oh, don't even. Get the fly. Timu cat does not deserve to be to be called BB anything. Please. <laughs> anyway. I find with cats, you're always cheering them on to hunt, and then whenever they get the bug, they just pat at it and torture it. Anyway, all of this well, yeah, was duh. worth it, because when I was, you know, getting out of the luggage area, just tired, hungry, sweaty, just miserable, you know, I had my husband greeting me, and it was so nice to get in, you know, the car, the new car, <laughs> not the Kia, and just oh coming home and i have to say now really being back and forth a few a couple different times this feels more like home for me right now so the biggest thing the biggest thing when i came home your husband fake husband probably sucked up to you to the max because he knows he was going to be in for it and our apartment door was opened i want to almost cry because i didn't even recognize our place it was such a big shock um, I'll show you our, like, Salah basically redecorated the entire place. Um, well, the living room and the bedroom and then um, Harry- was Where is this money coming from? Seriously, to redecorate your place. First, yeah. Where is this money coming from? I, I'm genuinely curious. Call it Harry's room. <laughs> Howie's room um, is pretty much the same. But 
we have a lamp for that place now. We have a new lamp, but that's about it <laughs> for that room. So I'll show you here um, the new living room. We're not going to show our bedroom. We have a brand new bedroom set in the bedroom. And oh my gosh, you guys, the bed is such an upgrade. Because I showed you in our old apartment hall. In our old apartment hall, you saw our bedroom once. That bed, you know, wasn't really, really comfortable, but it was big enough. So this is such an upgrade. Like it's the plushiest mattress and the bed is a huge storage bed from Ikea has like a lot of storage shelves she likes to sleep in some of them um, has an area like a big thick ledge I could put my CPAP and everything whatever we all know why he renovated all of it right he had people over and had way too much fun stuff got messy and so to save face he's like you know what I'm going to do renovation I don't want my knife to know my wife to know I splooged all over the place. <clears throat> Sorry. Ever, you know. Um, so we also have like a huge new wardrobe. Has like that like, you know, is it hydraulic? I don't know where you, like it doesn't smash the drawers when you close. They close themselves a bit. And it's all mirror. It's beautiful. And then we have um, the living room. So I'll show that to you now. So here it is. Our new living room. Look so how small. different and amazing this looks, guys. We have a slightly different color scheme, although we still did keep some of the old, but we have a brand new, larger carpet. This is sort of new, but we kept this little organizational cubby thing. I really like it. And here we have a little dining set. I didn't even know we had room for a dining area, but a little four-seater. And um, I love these There is no fake... way she is going to be able to uh, sit in any of these chairs. She will break those chairs. That's just... Who's going to sit in that? She's going to have to sit on the couch. Lights inside, but these little jars of lights that Salah picked out, they're so cute. All right, and here we have the new of course, sofa. It of is... course, of course, do you see the Quran on the table? It's like a, a decoration piece. I can't with this. This is just... <laughs> I mean, this is so, like, I, I can't. A traditional type of Dioenia style um, sofa set, and it kind of wraps around the whole living room. I really love the color. It kind of brightens up the room and goes well with the carpet. And here we have a table set that comes with a large table and three smaller tables. And the cool thing is you can remove the tables and put them anywhere you want. We have one in the corner with the lamp, and we have... Like, she's still going to have to sit on the floor to do her mukbangs. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have a core Quran and a nice roses decoration in the center of the table. And all he did this all to cover up his little fun time with all his, you know, lady friends. And uh, because it got too messy. Plus, he's su this is his way of sucking up to you, basically. Obviously, the best this is not a flex, Chantal. Side view, it just adds that that touch, you know. There's also this wall decoration that Salah picked out. Also matches with everything, and I just really like the style of it. It's cool. And of course, the cat loves all the new furniture. Um, she's so cute. Look at her. Oh my gosh. And in case you're wondering, here's my big boy getting his big daily peanut. He loves peanuts, and he likes to use those little choppers of his to open the shell. Oh, I missed my cute mouse rat, big hamster boy. Yes, I did. And this was our first breakfast together. A traditional Arabic breakfast with falafel. Where is Salah? Like, seriously. Where is Salah? I don't even think he's there. I don't even think he's there. I think she's alone. I, I I don't did he even pick her up because it's odd to me that she's not showing a uh, doing a whole display of her on the plane coming home and stuff like that. I don't even think he picked her up. I think she's actually absolutely. I think he uh, he had somebody come and get her, maybe paid for a taxi or something. And I think she's she's been alone. She's been alone since she's gotten there. I don't think he's showed his face yet. different kinds of jubin or cheese. Patsia, which is hummus with full, and we had some sandwiches there and some fatayr. It was very, very delicious. 
you know how much I love the falafel. Oh, in the middle of the cheese platter, it comes with jam and it has tomatoes and za'atar and olives and uh, all kinds of things. It was so delicious. If you haven't tried halloumi with jam on bread, you have to. It's so good. And I usually just take a falafel and dip it. And there you go. Yummy. And this is in the evening. I just wanted to show you our ceiling lights, which also kind of match with the color scheme of our living room. So yeah, this is a um, very typical kind of style here for the middle. This place looks new. This doesn't look like the same place that she was at before. Least, um, for like gatherings or diwania, they call it. And it's like kind of wraps around the whole room. I really, really, really love it. So it's very nice. It's a bit low to the ground, but some of them are on the floor, you know? So yeah, so my, my trip home was arduous. It was very testing and I... Uh, really need to get healthy so that I can do things like that, like travel and I mean, traveling for anyone, even healthy people, it's stressful, you know, my, my body hurts a bit from sitting for so long. I did the compression stockings worked because my feet are not swollen at all. I'm so happy. So I got home. The rest of your body probably and is. I had, I was just like, wow, you did all this work, like in such a little time, you know, so like within a day, I just went shopping for everything and then pl like placed everything like People are going nuts in the streets today. Sorry for the noise, if you can hear that. What are you doing? What are you doing? So then I had a shower and just oh, got in the new bed with the nice new sheets and oh, it was so amazing. Just an amazing night and... Everything is new because he had way too much fun in that place while you were gone and he had to... probably had to clean the entire place. I can't! Yeah, an amazing night. <laughs> um, being home. So, the cat, the pets were so happy to see me. I'm just, I feel so, so, so happy right now. So, um, oh yeah. Are I guess you? that's about it. So, thank you for uh, watching this video. And as much as I enjoyed showing you our new home, it feels like a new home. It feels so different like it's crazy <laughs> all right guys take care i'll see you next time bye this is such a flex for her you guys i'm back Hus fake husband nowhere to be seen in a new you know new you know newly furnished place like because my husband splooged all over the place and had too much fun and it's trying to suck up to me <laughs> i can't that was and then she comes she comes back, you know, in her pious Miriam low BMI voice. Like, I can't. <laughs> that was great. Okay. Anyways, um, that's it for today. And I will see you guys in the next one. Toodaloo, my loves. <laughs>